listen, this is, uh, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the grains of rice now, all right? <laughs> this, we need to get realistic. This is not a poor industry. We are, we are not suffering as an industry a, a massive decline in the amount of money that people are spending on music. That's not what's happening, all right? Here you go, jar one. In this jar, and by the way, yes, I do have OCD, so don't worry about it. And yes, I did do this. There are 16,700 grains of rice in this jar. I personally counted them in there on Sunday. It was a long day. <laughs> Each of these grains of rice is a million dollars. A million dollars. That $16.7 billion is the amount of money that made in 2022. The revenue, okay? I'm not saying they made a profit of that. Otherwise, we probably would have this conference. You all would have been bored if they'd made $16.7 billion. Okay, but look, $16.7 billion in revenue, okay? 2022. Here's another 6,000 grains of rice. Each one of those is a, a, billion, is a million dollars. Six billion dollars. That is what they made in 2023. 22.7 billion dollars. One grain of rice, a million dollars each. Can everybody see the two, two things of rice, yeah? I'm gonna take that and I'll tip that in there. And I'm gonna take out everything I needed, everything I needed to prevent the closure of 125 venues in the UK last year. I could have stopped all 125 venues closing down for four grains of rice. Now, if anybody can tell me that couldn't survive on the 22,696 grains of rice I've left in this jar, I think you're an idiot. <laughs> their, their profits are up by 158% since before COVID. Would it really, really kill you? If you're in here and you work for would your shareholders flee your company if it only went up by 157.9%? Would it really, really have hurt you? Do you know why I said that? That 0.1% is $52 million. $52 million. I've got four grains of rice on the table. Who in this room would like to vote that I put the four grains of rice back in this jar and let another 125 venues close? I thought not. So my point is, we can fix this. This is not a poor industry. These problems are not unsolvable. It is within our imagination to imagine that out of $22.7 billion of revenue, and I've still got sand left, that we could potentially think of a solution. Okay, and that's what we're going to have to do. We need to link this 22,696 grains of rice in here can get a little bit of leeway so that even at your level, Sam, there needs to be more support for artists that are going out of mid-level tours. We need support for grassroots artists in the country. You all talked, and I, I know the people on this panel, you all talked very passionately and convincingly about starting a grassroots venue or where you came from, everything. It's really important. I want to get before that. What about the aspiration factor? What about the aspiration factor? If you live in Bath, where do you go and see new and emerging artists now? Nowhere. There's nowhere left. And that's happened in 125 communities while this grain of rice in here gets bigger and bigger and bigger and starts excluding everybody else. <coughs> Sorry to if you're up for it. I love a lot of you. You're really nice people. But for fuck's sake, four <laughs> grains of rice, four grains, I think not. Hand over your four grains of rice and shut up. <laughs>